Hello, I'm JW. So I'm going to have a look at these, which are terminal blocks which fit onto a DIN rail. Now these ones are going to be used in the phase converter project, so I'll be seeing these in another video, but this time I'm just going to have a look at these things and uh, how they work and uh, what you might want to use them for. Now I've got a few different colours of these here. These are uh, chosen because they're the three phase colours. So we have the brown, black and grey for your three phases, blue for neutral, and uh, you can also get the uh, earth ones, which of course are green and yellow. We'll look at those separately because they are slightly different. And of course many other colours available. There's some uh, red ones there, so lots of different ones. And again, you can get these from many different manufacturers. These ones are labelled Clip, whoever they might be. So uh, just sounds what we've got here. But uh, again, there's several manufacturers of these things. They're fairly readily available. Now these particular ones are designed for 2.5 square millimetre or millimetre squared, depending on how you want to pronounce that, in terms of wire. And uh, you can see on this side there's just a metal contact there, and it just joins two wires together. Now they're intended to fit onto a rail such as this. This is a sort of a DIN rail or top hat rail, the best names uh, these go by. This is also the same sort of thing you would have in a consumer unit, where your circuit breakers things would attach to. And yes, you can buy this separately like this. It's only a couple of pounds for a metre or something, so fairly readily available. And these things, again, just clip onto the rail the same way a circuit breaker or other device would. So let's have a closer look at this particular one. So this is a Conta clip and it happens to be brown in colour. Uh, rating to this one 800 volts and 24 amps, so uh, fairly reasonable there. And this say takes uh, 2.5 millimetre squared wire or the uh, AWG equivalent is at the bottom there. So bottom here clips on there. And on the other side, we can see the actual metal contact, so uh, one on each side here. So the idea is that once it's on the rail, put a wire in this hole over here, and again another wire in that hole there, and then you've got these two screws here which are accessed from the holes in the top. So tighten those down, and that will then clamp the wire on both sides. And then of course you have two wires which are then joined together through the middle. Now notably these are closed on this side, and this side is completely open. This is not a particular problem because if you have two of them, they always go with the closed sides together. So you can stack up a whole lot of these, and although they are open on one side, of course, they are still insulated. Virtue that the closed sides always go together. Now the other colours are all exactly the same, other than the colour, apart from the earth ones here, which as you can see are green and yellow, sort of half and half. These are actually fully enclosed on both sides, and an important difference here is that the bottom has a metal contact here, so when you attach it to the rail, these uh, pieces here will actually clip onto the rail. There's a screw in the middle on this one which is tightened up, and that actually grips onto the rail very securely. So with the earth ones, again you've got the same wire in each side which are joined together, but additionally those two are actually joined to this strip here, so that then they're actually attached to the metal rail as well. So uh, same sort of idea, but uh, has that additional piece at the bottom. So it's all connected onto the metal rail, and of course if that's in a metal cabinet that also means that the metal cabinet is also connected to the earth as well. Now in terms of installing these it's just a question of clipping onto the rail, a little sort of indent at the top there where the rail goes in, and then this piece at the bottom on these has this sort of partly sprung piece, so it uh, just snaps on like that. And I say it's all very well having just two wires joined together, but uh, you can get these with more than one hole on each side, sort of a double stack one. So you have two on this side, two on that side, and even one to say three on each side as well. But these sort of just two tonal ones are fairly common. Now joining two wires together is all very well, but uh, there may be circumstances where you want to join more than two together. So if you have, say, a block of these, say uh, five together like this, you can also get things like these, which come in a strip, and you can cut these down to size. And then the idea with these is that uh, these will actually go down in the centre here, like that. And then when you uh, tighten up these screws, it obviously bites into the metal inside, so then you would trim off the uh, excess there. So if you put those in, now what you've got is all of these, and all of these are all common together. So now you've actually got, rather than just one wire in, one wire out, you've actually got ten in total, so five in five here. So you can actually have ten individual wires joining here, all of which are linked together. 
It's also possible these to say take one out from the middle completely and have it bridge over so you could have say those two connected with these two and the middle one completely separate although that'd be a fairly uh, odd arrangement but uh, nevertheless you can actually gang these up in say blocks of as many as you would like and uh, fix those all together. Other colours are again pretty much the same deal so you could say uh, snap on a uh, blue one there and here's the uh, black one which again just snaps in like that and of course uh, grey as well is to, is to sort of complete the uh, set there. Now I'll tell you these are always closed on one side and the other side is open so uh, you want to put them in the same way round but uh, of course the end one is obviously exposed so you need to put some sort of cover over it and uh, here is uh, such a cover this just snaps in place so uh, so here's the uh, black one if you want to that's the end of a row you can just place it in two little pegs go in the holes on this particular design and just clicks in like that and now of course it's closed on both sides so if this was to go at the end here it snaps in and now that end is therefore completely closed off and you can also use that to therefore separate between two different ones so you want to carry on here with say some uh, neutrals there then you can and that's actually putting a barrier between the actual two pieces like that now these all snap on and uh, once they're on they're pretty uh, solid on there I mean they can move if you uh, ease them apart there but bearing in mind this will be inside some kind of enclosure it's not going to be where you can get at it with fingers or whatever else so generally not a problem now the only slight difference is these earth ones here now they don't have the facility in the middle to put the uh, linking bars in because there's already a screw down in there and these fit on the rail slightly differently in the case of this one it will just place on the rail as you can see there's nothing holding it in position so with these it goes on the rail and then the screwdriver in the middle because the screw already in there let's tighten that up there now then once that's tightened it's now locked on the rail so it's not going to come off and what's happened is these metal pieces here have actually pulled around on the top and bottom so that's now gripped on there and also securely makes contact with the metal rail itself and hence you don't need to link them together because the rail itself is what links the various bits together so to get these ones off you'll have to actually unscrew the middle and then it just lifts away and to get these ones off because they just snap on with like a tab there it's just pull it in this case from the top and they will just pop off obviously you can remove them and rearrange them as desired now these particular ones say are 2.5 square millimeter wire you can get them in a whole range of sizes these are relatively small as these things go you can get much bigger ones as well now this type of thing is normally used inside uh, control cabinets and that sort of thing hence we're going to be using it for the phase converter it did have some uh, screw block terminals in there but we got rid of those we're going to be using these instead and so when you see those get your cabinet a piece of rail as appropriate screw that in on the back and then uh, add terminals and links as required now it's not the sort of thing you normally see in a domestic installation but there is at least one area where it might be useful there if they had a consumer unit or old fuse box high up on the wall and they're going to fit a new one say it was four feet or something lower down the wall of course all those cables to the circuits need to be extended now what you could do is to put one of these in a cabinet say where the old fuse box was and then your existing cables will go in the top of a whole line of these terminals and then you could put your new wiring on this side going down to your new consumer unit and put a nice cover on the front and that would be a fairly tidy way of extending all of the circuit cables and you'd also manage to keep them in order of course because you put these sort of uh, line neutral earth in the correct sequence so we'll keep it all nice and tidy so uh, that may be an option to consider certainly if you want to say move a consumer unit uh, down the wall or to some other more accessible location without having to replace half of the existing wiring and that's certainly much tidier and easier than having say a whole massive tangle of wires in there with uh, screw terminals flapping about or crimps or whatever else so let's look there at din rail terminals now so these are two-way ones just one in wire in the top and one in the bottom but you can get them in a vast array of sizes styles and things for different current capacities and all the rest so certainly worth knowing about i'd say not normally found in domestic uh, installations but certainly uh, fairly common certainly in industrial uh, machinery and panels and so on fairly uh, common items there and you can get them from different manufacturers they all fit on the same rail but uh, do bear in mind that things like end caps or whatever are going to be specific to the particular manufacturer so if you've got one particular manufacturer of actual terminal accessories that go with it of course uh, do need to match up with the same manufacturer 
and in some cases manufacturers have different series of these things so again larger terminals are going to need larger link bars and so on but again it's just buying it all to match and uh, same as anything else really so uh, we'll be seeing these again in the uh, phase converter video in the future but until then thanks for watching